Okay, so was asked a, a question on uh, getting stressed and uh, that becoming a momentum of being stressed and uh, physical symptoms emerging out of that and how do you stop the momentum of uh, the stress and the physical symptoms. So the thing that I do with, uh, uh, I think, you know, Hawkins said it really uh, nicely and I use, I use this as a very, as a primary indicator for myself that when my, when I'm, when I'm in stress, i.e. in fear, anger, shame, guilt, or fear, then my body instantly cuts the energy supply, the, the qi energy supply to the body, and my body starts going weak. So for every minute I'm in fear or stress or anger or greed or shame, then uh, the 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 qi uh, energy supply to my body has been cut off. Now for myself, um, and we know this from Chinese medicine and from uh, muscle testing, uh, most each person used uses is tends to be vulnerable in certain areas. So you've got the Chinese, you've got the acupuncture meridians, you, they often call like the kidney meridian or the liver meridian. So you can understand there's different emotions that Chinese medicine have attached to the various meridians. Like uh, the kidney meridian is associated with the fear. Um, you might have the lungs being associated with another meridian. You might have the immune system uh, associated with another meridian and another emotion. So for each person, they will often find that when they go into stress and a dominant emotion, the energy supply is cut off to a certain segment of the body. And each minute, each day, that, the, um, that emotion is, being, um, it is happening, it's like that vital source of energy is going off. And then each person tends to, when, if you go in those symptoms for too long, the momentum becomes manifested on a physical level. So for example, for myself, my kidneys might stop uh, functioning, I might start urinating less. For another person, it might be asthmatic symptoms. For another person, it might be, um, uh, it might be immune system problems. Uh, for another person, um, it could be psychological problems like acting out or addiction. So therefore for me, because uh, um, I cannot afford for too long to allow myself to be in stress and let that momentum go because my physical, uh, my physical body will start to um, start to react to that. So what I tend to do, the first thing I do to stop the momentum is try and get some space and use the field of feelings if it's a physical symptom or if it's a lot of stress because mentally, uh, for me, uh, dealing with the emotions, or when I say emotions, that also mean physical symptoms. If I'm feeling burnout, asthma, breathlessness, um, then uh, if that's the main thing that I'm suffering from, then I'll, tr I'll try and disengage from the stories in my head, the thoughts, and just be with it. So if I'm feeling like, for example, uh, when my kidneys go, I might start feeling exhausted. Uh, so I just sit with the exhaustion and feel it out. Now, sometimes I'll be sitting with that feeling of chronic tiredness for, I could be sitting with it for an hour or two hours a day, but by keeping a, a straight back and knowing that it's an illusion, that tiredness is not me, I can feel that energy out. And then it's, I, start to, I start to tap into that infinite source of energy, which is always here for me because I'm not buying into the stressful thoughts, which are creating the, um, the exhaustion. If I, you know, I've, um, I used to have asthma and uh, obviously I used to be in fear and stress and anger a lot of the time and used to have asthma attacks, which was like breathlessness, like I can't breathe. Uh, that's what asthma felt like, like I'm suffocating, I can't breathe. So for, um, for myself then, uh, it was the thing that I did. I'm not giving any medical advice or anything, but I decided to feel my breathlessness and even feel out panic attacks without using anything. So I did that, and each time I did that, I just sat with the breathlessness and the exhaustion and not being able to breathe and buy into the stories and was willing, for myself, uh, I, was, I was willing to go through that. I found that each time I went through an asthma attack, that um, the, uh, it was like I'd released a lot of pent up emotions that had been repressed that were creating this, um, 
this huge uh, accumulation of feelings within myself, which was, um, uh, which was manifesting as breathlessness. So then that started, uh, those asthma attacks started to subside. So in that way, I was releasing, uh, in that way, I was releasing the, um, the chronic feelings that were within me. So by, by feeling those out, it's like I'm letting go of the, um, the momentum of those uh, built up feelings. Also, when I got my kidney failure, I had severe immune system problems. The doctors were quite uh, perplexed uh, with what was going on with my immune system. And I just found just by staying in, the, you know, just by feeling out all the symptoms, my immune system started to reset itself. So the other thing to do is with um, when I'm getting any kind of physical symptoms or chronic states, is to cancel my beliefs. Like, what what is it that seems my I seem to be manifesting? Am I if I'm uh, having asthma, then I cancel my belief in asthma. I'm an infinite being. I mean, nowadays I would do that maybe uh, a few, uh, quite a lot, many times during the day. So I'd be just cancelling my belief. Um, you know, maybe a hundred times a day. Or if it was something else, I'd be cancelling that. If I felt um, there was um, resentments or, or things, I'd be uh, doing prayers for forgiveness to release that. And also to stop the momentum. Uh, I, I, those would be the, the two things I'd mostly do. Um, and I would up, up my scale of doing those activities dependent on just how chronic the symptoms were until I would get relief. Okay, let me just stop this video.